Hey everybody, today I am talking about the narcissist and sex. So there's two types of narcissist. There's the somatic narcissist and there's the cerebral narcissist. The somatic narcissist, I'm just getting right into this too by the way, sorry. So the somatic narcissist is someone that just views their conquests as objects. They just view people, their sexual partners, as a source of narcissistic supply. So engaging in the act of sex has no um, intimacy whatsoever, no connections. It's just strictly for supply purposes. Um, cerebral narcissist. See, I had to do a little research on this because I did a post today on my Instagram because I know it's a thing because other people have confirmed this. So if you have a narcissistic mother like I do, she will use sex to try and somehow shame you. It is so weird. Like, and I talk about it with my husband, of course. And I'm like, gosh, she has such an unhealthy relationship with sex. This clearly has to come from their childhood or growing up or whatever. I don't know. I'm her loss, you know. But um, I mentioned in my la one of my my last video, I think it was when my narc mother raged. I said it was her tantrum. Because I'm cutting off her supply. And so, as, you know, tried and true, she always comes at me trying to, like, slut shame me in some way. Or trying to, I don't, it's, it's the same strategy. Like, it's always been this way my entire life. Like, I'm almost 40 years old. I'm married. I have three beautiful children. But she'll always try to go back to, like, me being a teenager and how she loves to try to portray me as some kind of hussy or like that I slept around or something which is a joke because I always had boyfriends because I was always trying to fill the void of the love and affection that I was not receiving from my home life anyway so I was trying to figure out a lot of people have confirmed that their narcissistic mothers do the same thing. Like they treat them like, or they just in general act like sex is just so faux pas and it can't be talked about. So I looked into it and I think that part of it, like definitely a manipulation tactic, but I'll get back to that. But something else that I learned is that there are cerebral narcissists and I think this might be the case with my mother. They view themselves as intellectually superior and their um, ability to control themselves, to control their um, sexual desires is, you know, makes them superior to other people. So I think that plays into it as well. But... First and foremost, as is with anything regarding the narcissist, everything is a manipulation tactic. So if you have a narcissistic mother or parent, whatever, and they're trying to use sex to shame you in some way, that is tried and true with the narcissistic um, strategies. They will always try to put you down to somehow get themselves in a position of um, superiority. You know, you're always inferior. You're always at a disadvantage if you have a narcissistic parent because, you know, they just view it like game over. I'm your, I'm your mother. I'm your parent. So you're subordinate, which has been the case with my evil narcissistic mother my entire life but definitely the association with sex and shame is something 
that they will always try to leverage to um, put you down, to make you feel inferior or to shame you in some way. So there's that. Um, and like I said, there's also the cerebral element. I feel like I think that some narcissistic mothers look at themselves like, oh, you know, I, I can control myself, so therefore I am superior. There's also the opposite end of the spectrum, which I think is equally despicable. But there's narcissistic mothers that are over-sexualized. Like they, again, use their sexuality as a form of manipulation. So they will try to sleep with their daughter's boyfriends or husbands or, or they'll make like sexual advances. They'll try to elicit attention from their daughter's boyfriends, partners, husband, whatever, because in their feeble minds, they think like, oh, I won. You know, I got attention. I stole him from her. It's, it's beyond our comprehension because we don't think like this because we're not, you know, these um, disordered lunatics. It's, it's hard to wrap your head around, but when you step back and you see them for what they are and you see their game, their strategy, you can kind of, like, uh, you can kind of understand. So, there are narcissistic mothers that will try to sleep with their daughters, partners. It's beyond. So then there's also the shame factor. Then there's also uh, narcissistic um, partners. I'm just dealing with women because that's what I know from my mother. But, um, you know, men will do it as well. They use, like I said, the somatic narcissist will just go for um, quantity. They'll just keep sleeping with people to get narcissistic supply. They use them for their own benefit. It's terrible and then there's um the woman partner that will use sex as a manipulation tactic if you do what i want you know you'll get some kind of thing that's pretty clear um i did a post this morning on my instagram about how narcissistic mothers hate sex because that's been my experience. And a couple other people have weighed in on that as well. Um, so that has been, you know, just my narcissistic mother always trying to shame me. She has like the unhealthiest relationship with sex. It's, it's gross. Like it's, and then narcissistic partners romantically will always use sex as a manipulation tactic. Um, they will withhold sex to elicit the um, kind of actions that they want, you know, and they'll use it as a reward. Um, so that's what I've learned. I'm trying to understand where this all comes from like, why my narcissistic mother always tries to, um, you, you know, she couples sex with shame as a way to try to control me. It's so weird. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. So, I hope I helped you out in some way. I hope I validated, you know, your own experience. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I love reading people's um, comments and experiences. It, we're all helping each other, and I'm so grateful. So check out my Instagram if you have not done that yet. Subscribe. That would be awesome. Um, you're down, but you're not out. God bless you. We're all learning about narcissistic abuse and overcoming it. We are you know, equipping ourselves with the tools that we need to get out from under this negativity and this oppressive cloud. Um, God bless you guys.